I'm Rose. I'm Violet. And we are identical twins, they said at the same time. We look the same, said Rose. We sound the same, said Violet. We even dress the same, they said together as they giggled. It's my birthday, said Rose. No, it's my birthday, said Violet, and both the girls laughed as they yelled, It's our birthday. Yes, Violet and Rose were identical. They looked the same, dressed the same, talked the same, acted the same, made the same face when they were happy, did the same frown when they were sad, and they even got the same grades in school. Oh, what's that? They don't get the same grades in school. I wonder why. I can tell you why, their mom said. Rose is a little more responsible and pays attention to fine details. Violet is a little less responsible and sometimes doesn't pay attention to things she doesn't like doing. Come on in, girls, their mom yelled out the door. It's time to open your presents and your dad and I want to see how you like them. Oh, they were excited. They ran up to the house, up the stairs, through the door, and into the hall where they saw two big boxes. Their excitement grew as they wondered what was inside. Then they smiled at one another as they each dashed for a box. I want this one, yelled Rose. No, I want that one, yelled Violet. Girls, their mom said. You know it doesn't make any difference. They are both the same. Rose and Violet laughed when they realized how silly they had acted. Of course, the presents would be identical, just like them. They each got a box unwrapped, opened, and then looked in seed. Rose happily yelled, Stuff to make a flower garden? This is great. Something I always wanted to do. I can grow my own flower garden. Violet said, I like flowers, and a garden would be nice. But there's a lot of stuff in this box, and it seems like it would be a lot of work. Violet was right. There was a lot of stuff in the box. It contained everything they needed to make a flower garden. Everything except water, sunshine, and love. Both girls thanked their mom and dad for the great present, and they dragged their heavy boxes outside to start their gardens. They each selected a patch of ground to call her own, took the How to Garden book from the box, and began to read. Rose said, Violet, you were right. This is going to be a lot of work. They carefully removed the grass, loosened up the ground, added and mixed in the special flower soil, and planted their flower seeds. Violet found some nice sticks and pretty ribbon to make a fence around her garden. She gave the seeds their first watering and said, Rose, I am going inside to watch television. Rose asked her dad to help her make a stone fence around her garden. A very special garden needs a very special fence, she said to him as they gathered and placed the stones. After some time, the fence was completed, and Rose gave the seeds their first watering. Well, maybe later. Right now, I want to eat breakfast, and then I think I'll play a game, Violet said. Every morning, Rose tended her garden, and every morning, Violet had something else to do. Every morning, Rose would remind Violet to water her garden, and Violet would reply, Let Mother Nature take care of it. One morning, Rose checked on her garden, and she couldn't believe what she saw. Her garden was covered with little flower plants. She was so excited she danced with joy. Then she looked at Violet's garden, 